Our top story is developing. The North Charleston Police Department releasing video after a suspect claims he was mistreated during an arrest, leaving him with what he describes as severe injuries to both his neck and back. News News' Riley Benson joins us live from North Charleston City Hall. And Riley, community activist and the man's attorney held a news conference today denouncing this behavior that they say happened to him. Yeah, Brendan, video released by the North Charleston Police Department shows Darian Maggot nearly collide head on with a North Charleston police officer. A chase then ensues before Maggot's arrested. Maggot says he was immediately slammed against the hood of a vehicle before being tackled to the ground, but the edited video depicts a different scene. The altercation happened on July 1st on La Crosse Drive in North Charleston. Police reports show officers initiated blue lights, the car then ignoring a stop sign before parking driver then attempting to flee on foot before being quickly apprehended. The report goes on to say the suspect identified as Darian Maggot was dropping items from his pockets, including bags containing a substance field testing positive for marijuana. Bags of cocaine were also found in Maggot's car. The police report says Maggot complained of hand and leg pain, was transported to Trident Hospital, where he refused treatment before being taken back to the Charleston County Detention Center and booked. He was then taken to Roper St. Francis and finally the Medical University of South Carolina. Megan is suing the North Charleston Police Department. His account paints the night's events in a different light. Tackled Mr. Megan to the ground, slammed him on the hood of the car, and as a result of his reckless and excessive force, Mr. Megan has had multiple screws in his neck, has undergone surgeries, and has two rods. The lawsuit coming in the midst of the North Charleston Police Department undergoing a racial bias audit and community activists comparing the altercation to the death of Walter Scott. Brian Mickelson says his client's constitutional rights were violated. Community activists Megat and his attorney are calling on the department to hold the officer accountable for his actions. North Charleston Police Chief Reggie Burgess released a statement with a video saying civil rights leaders brought the altercation to his attention, calling on him to take action. The civil rights leader as well as the family members were invited to come to City Hall to view the video. Now, Brendan, to the knowledge of civil rights leaders, no action has been taken against the involved officer. We've also listened to this video several times. We were unable to hear Megat complain of any sort of injury or ask the police for medics. Of course, this is a developing story, and we'll be sure to share any new information with you as soon as we learn it. For now, reporting live in North Charleston, Raleigh Benson, Count on Two.